Hey guys, on this week's episode, we're going to show you a local cafe near campus, teach some students music interests, sports updates, and do it yourself t shirt designs. So, let's get started. So I'm here at Barclays Coffee and Tea with Jenna, the manager. So tell us, Jenna, when was this established? Uh, the coffee shop was established in 1973. What's the theme of your cafe? Um, well, we have jazz here almost every weekend. We're very community-based, customer-oriented. We like to keep a homey vibe here. We have um, an art studio a couple doors down, so they come in every couple weeks and they put their paintings up, and it's kids ranging from anywhere from 5 to 15. What's your specialty? Um, well, we sell coffee and tea by the quarter pound, half pound, and pound. Um, we make a mocha borgia, which is a, it's a Mexican sweet hot chocolate topped with whipped cream and chocolate sprinkles. We can make it hot, iced, or blended. When do you guys have jazz nights? We have jazz nights on Friday and Saturday night. We have a variety of performers. Um, typically, it's jazz music. A lot of them are CSUN students. We pride ourselves in making this feel almost like you know a home for them. Next, we have Tamara Sayed with CSUN students' music interests. What's your favorite genre of music? Well, I like several types of music, but the one that I like the most is Spanish rock from Central America. And could you tell me some of your uh, favorite bands in the Spanish rock genre? Sure, I like uh, Viento en Contra, Malacates, y El Tambor de la Tribu. What song have you been playing on repeat lately? Um, well, I love anything that's Justin Timberlake, but specifically, I love Blue Ocean Floor on his new album. Why that song out of all the other songs of his? Well, I mean, he's just awesome in general, and everything he does is great, but that song, I really, really like love the melody, and like it's just really soothing. I listen to it to go to sleep, and it makes me feel at peace, like I'm on the beach. What's your favorite kind of genre of music? I like all kinds of genres, uh, jazz, you know, rock, metal, uh, classical guitar, anything, you name it. Okay. Do you have a favorite band? Yep. They're called Dance Gavin Dance. They're from Sacramento, California, and I've seen them like five times. And you told me that you had a few burritos with them? Oh yeah, one time um, they were at a local show in Fresno, where I'm from, and I was like, are you guys hungry? Let's get some burritos. And then we went to get burritos together, and it was pretty cool. Now we have Sports Update with Vincent Nguyen. This week in sports, the Big West playoffs are going on. Yesterday, the men's basketball lost to UC Davis 71 to 67. Uh, women's tennis is also still undefeated. They're playing right now at the tennis courts as well as the baseball team at the baseball field. Sand volleyball is going on as well, and um, I know water polo won their match yesterday against UC San Diego. Last, we have Cecily Chisholm with a simple do-it-yourself t-shirt project. What's up you guys? On this week's DIY, we're going to show you how to customize your music t-shirts. So, we're going to take my very large Rise Against shirt, and we're going to make it fit a lot better like I did with my strip shirt. So, we literally are going to need our pair of scissors, a large t-shirt, and some chalk or maybe some soap to sort of sketch out where you want to cut. I'm going to cut out a little scoop neck. I'm going to start about an inch from the sleeve because I want to keep the sleeves. Um, I have something on the back, so I can't cut up the back, but what I'm going to do instead is just cut up the sides, just in a straight line up, maybe not quite up to the elbow yet, but probably about that way in. And then what you'll do is just cut right, right in the middle, maybe a little diamond shape as well. And then all you want to do is take the ends and tie them up. And you do it to all the sides. Then you flip the shirt over and do it to the other, just like that, just two little knots so that way it doesn't come undone. And at the end, you should have something that looks like this. So that way they fit a little better and they're probably a little bit more unique than the standard um, band shirts or any kind of shirts you get. I hope you enjoyed today's DIY version and hopefully we'd love to see your creations when you show them. Thanks so much. Thanks for tuning in on this week's episode of Life Clash. Please subscribe at our YouTube channel for our next episode. And check out more of our videos at sundial.csun.edu. I'm Delmi Moran. Until next time.